2024 has been the year of such incredible interior design trends and I want to buy into all of them, but my pockets say no. Well, in today's video, I'm actually going to show you how you can achieve some of those trends, but on a budget. And I'm doing so thanks to Lowe's. And I do want to say thanks to Lowe's for sponsoring today's video. Now, before we get into it, if you're new here, hello, my name is KB and I'm your interior design fairy godmother because I teach you how to achieve the luxe look for less. And that's exactly what we're doing in today's video. So let's get into it. Trend number one is lighting in unexpected places. Lighting had a big moment in 2024. There was that huge TikTok trend of don't use the big light, never turn on the big light. And I was like, well, then what am I supposed to use? And people just started buying table lamps and floor lamps galore. But lighting is actually secretly very, very, very expensive. And when you buy all the lighting, you have to do some cord management. So what if you wanna add a light to your coffee table or to a side table or to your toilet tank? What do you do? Well, you use lighting that is USB rechargeable. So I actually picked this up. This is a table lamp and you just touch the top and it gives off lighting. And it just has this cute little USB C port so you can recharge it with literally any charger and you can get to have light in unexpected places. I personally love to add mood lighting in the bathroom. I think you should have a nice moody like romantic experience in the bathroom or at least that's how I feel. I also like to add it to my coffee table because it's just not something you see all the time. The next trend is one of my favorite trends of 2023, 2024 and dare I say 2025 that is sculptural wall art. Sculpture is expensive. Traditional art which sculpture, sculpture is art but traditional art and then sculptural art, all three of those things are expensive. So what do we do? I have found a really affordable alternative. So this is actually a piece from Lowe's. Yes, Lowe's does have artwork and this has like texture and dimension here, which I think is beautiful. I think the reason why people feel like their homes look cheap when they're buying artwork is due to the fact that they're buying artwork with no dimension. You can look at it and you can't see paint strokes. You can't see any difference in the levels and in the texture and it's fine if you're using art prints. I use art prints all the time because we're balling on a budget here on the KB YouTube channel. I'm with you. But sometimes we want one or two pieces that are a little bit more elevated. You get something like this, right? So you're still not buying like a full blown sculpture, but you're getting art that has dimension that you can not only see, but you can also feel. And if you're loving any or every product, I sharing in today's video you can actually pick it up at Lowe's and I do want to say thanks again to Lowe's for sponsoring today's video so normally when you think Lowe's you think home improvement but Lowe's has so much more and fall savings actually start now because they're having their labor day sale and they have everything from art to glassware to vases everything you want to get when it comes to interior design you can pick up from Lowe's and the benefits of shopping at Lowe's don't just stop at this labor day sale Lowe's actually has free store pickups you can place your order online or on the Lowe's app and go pick it up at your local store. It's totally free. That's how I picked up the items from today's video. I did a little window shopping as well. I did walk down a few aisles, but I was able to pick up everything for free. Lowe's also offers free shipping on orders $45 or more. So you can save a bunch of time because the items are going to come straight to your home. And in some cases you can get same day delivery. That means if you place your order before 2 PM, eligible in stock items will come straight to your door that same day. And of course Lowe's has their low price guarantee, which means you're going to five competitive low price prices every single day at Lowe's online and in store. But there is no better time than right now than to shop for your whole home at Lowe's because the Labor Day weekend sales are here and the sales are absolutely phenomenal. If you want to shop anything I've shared so far and anything I will share in today's video, just head down to my description box. I've linked everything from Lowe's down below. And if you've been on the internet at all recently, you've probably heard of the pop of red theory. And basically it's a theory that says if you add a pop of red to any space, it's going to like instantly look like luxurious and it's a very interesting trend because traditionally speaking red is a very energizing color so it's not a color you normally want to use like in your bedroom it's not a color you want to paint an entire room or at least that was the case before but people are really falling in love with the color red against all the different interior design styles you're seeing red 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 but you know unless you really love to paint, I don't expect you to go and repaint your entire home every single year to fit in with the trends. That can be costly and it could just be time consuming. Emphasis on the time consuming. But a great way to, you know, kind of cater to this pop of red theory is just via florals. So florals is a great way for me to lend myself to an interior design style without having to like kind of be stuck because my style evolves all the time. I like things one day and it changes tomorrow. You know, I just, I'm an indecisive queen and that's okay. And this is a safe place for us 
to be that way. So flowers are really great because you can cycle them in and out if they're faux and they'll just die in a few days if they're real and you're putting them in a vase. So no matter what, you're good to go. And in general, I would say 2024 is a year where people are focusing more on attention to detail. I think for the past few years, people have been kind of obsessed with the showroom look and I'm right there with you. I can say that I fell victim to that. But now people are wanting a little bit more nuance, a little bit more personality. So that involves paying attention to the small details. That could mean adding um, a piece of art that's really sentimental to you. Maybe it has your name on it. Maybe it's something written by your grandmother. It could be something as, you know, putting out a blanket that you bought on your travels that maybe necessarily doesn't like really blend itself to your home's design, but is a piece of you that you wanna be reminded of every single day and therefore it works for that reason. It could also be something as simple as like adding a little oomph to like the smaller things. An example would be, this is a really, really cool curtain bracket, right? You think curtain bracket, you're like, hey, I'm just gonna throw it up there it's gonna be what it is. Like the curtains are the wow factor, but look, you could do something simple like this. You can have a bird on the end of it. It's just like a cute little detail that means, hey, I didn't just follow the basic interior design rules. I went one step further. I think that's where everyone is. We're one step further. Um, so this is a really good example of that. The next 2024 design trend that I actually really, really like and wasn't expecting you to like is the resurgence of glass details. So glass is something that used to be trending big time. Like every, my, my grandma's house is full of glass, right? There were glass vases and glass dishes and this and that. There was so much Lennox stuff like that. And it was wonderful. It was great, but so much dusting, so much dusting. So it waned in popularity. So I think with like the resurgence of like the cottage core, the more rustic design styles, the vintage inspired or the actual vintage glass is making a comeback. But how do we implement it? How do we incorporate glass without it feeling like so overwhelming, like it's way too much. And so it doesn't end up back in the thrift store. Well, I say incorporate glass in functional functional ways. So instead of buying like 50 million glass vases, I know you're probably tempted, but you don't need 50 million of them. I promise. I promise. You actually want to, you know, maybe swap out your soap dish. So you need a soap dish no matter what, cause you gotta use soap. So instead of putting your soap directly on the counter, put it in like a cute chic glass dish. It's functional. So it doesn't feel like you're buying into the trend for no reason. Um, it doesn't seem like a, uh, like an unnecessary purchase, but you're able to have like an ode to it. And I like to do these things in high traffic areas because firmly, I believe there's no point in you know buying into a trend if I can't bear witness to it, if I can't experience it on the daily. Otherwise, it's a waste and you should take it back to the store. This is one that I've been waiting to make a comeback because honestly, I hated this. I hated this. The next interior design trend of 2024 that is super hot is the mixed metal trend. And thank you, like finally, because I was so tired of people being like, everything has to be gold. Because do you realize how truly hard it is to get the exact same gold all throughout your home? It had me wanting to pull the handles off of every cabinet in my home because I was stressed. I was over it, but now we're mixing metals. Now there's a caveat to this. Um, you still have to think about whether are they both going to be polished? Are they both going to be brushed? All that good stuff, but that's not my problem. Right? <laughs> we're just talking about the basics here, but people are mixing metals. What I like to do to keep it safe, right? So that we never ever have a problem is to do a metal and then a neutral metal. So what's a neutral metal? A neutral metal is black. Black technically, technically goes with silver and gold and rose gold and all of the different metals of the rainbow. So black is safe. So I might do, um, you know, silver poles and then a black towel bar, or I might do a gold mirror or a black mirror, but with gold poles or with like gold frames in my artwork, you can really mix and match. Black is kind of like the savior when it comes to mixing metals. Now I exist here to talk to you about trends. So this is one honestly that I personally don't love. I don't really want to do this in my home except for in my guest room because I want it to be like cutesy and cozy. I want you to feel like you're in a cottage in the middle of the woods, even though you're in the middle of Pittsburgh. But the next trend that has been taking over 2024 is the floral. People want floral everything, floral bedspread, floral wall, art or a wallpaper, but it's feeling to me like one of those trends that has become so popular so quickly that it's going to wane very quickly. So if you want to buy into it just a little bit, but not commit to like the rolls and rolls of floral wallpaper, I want you to grab a floral pillow. So a floral pillow with a floral pillow cover, timeless. 
this is timeless because it's just like a little pop because this is going to work even as that trend kind of wanes because when you're styling a bed, when you're styling a sofa, you wanna have different patterns, different colors, different textures, no matter what, no matter what your style is. So this could be that little oomph that kind of takes it over. This also works for like a fall styling or winter styling. So even when the trend kind of isn't popular anymore, this is still going to be relevant during two of four seasons, which is a win in my book. I think also when you're designing a guest room, I think we normally just like kind of throw our additional linens in there. You're like, look, guests, take this. But you want people to feel cozy when they come into your home that is like paramount that's what stops them from leaving immediately but i mean i guess if you want them to leave immediately then don't do this right but a little bit of cozy is something simple like this a floral print just says ah relax here this is a little bnb &B. this is a little bed and breakfast welcome to my cottage welcome to my home and relax and i fear i fear I'm becoming a cozy girl because the next trend of 2024 that I've seen a lot on Instagram is coziness. You're saying, Kiva, how is coziness a trend? Well, we're having over displays of cozy. We're not hiding our blankets like under the sofa anymore or throwing them in the room and only taking them out when we need them. We have blankets galore. We have baskets to hold our blankets. We are inundated with textiles and pillows. We're not just having one pillow per sofa because I won't be able to take a nap at the same time as someone else. I don't want to just have to fight over the one pillow. I love that we're kind of bringing back this idea that we can relax and feel comfortable in our own homes. They're not just showrooms. They're not just display places. Sure, we might clean it up really nice and fancy for when mom comes over, but otherwise... It's giving relax, it's giving cozy, and we're having those more overt displays. The last 2024 interior design trend that you may want to buy into, but you're kind of worried about the price tag, is the solid rug. So rugs are so expensive. They're so expensive that I want to cry a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm not going to. I'm not going to cry on the internet. But... Rugs can be really pricey and we get this desire sometimes to switch out rugs all of the time because a new collection comes out or a new style is trending that isn't trending anymore. That is too expensive. That is way too expensive. And also, who are you, Hercules? Lifting all of your furniture all of the time to put down a new rug, that is just exhausting. So what I like to do is actually switch out my kitchen runner. So I know you probably are like, Kiva, didn't you say you hated kitchen runners a few years ago? I've evolved since 2020, okay? I've evolved, and here's the thing. I cook way too often to not be comfortable in my kitchen, and the runner provides a nice plush little area under my feet. So I like to switch out my runners to kind of meet different trends. So a rug style that's trending right now is the solid runner. We're doing the solid creams, the solid browns. And what better place to introduce that than in the kitchen? Because kitchens in general tend to really, really lack a sense of personality because our kitchen everything in there is very very functional it's very practical so i think a rug is a really great way to switch it up it's sultry it's on trend but it didn't break the bank and when a new trend comes along i can move this to a different room i can repurpose it in a different space and i didn't have to break the bank in order to kind of buy into that trend but that's it for today's video those are the 2024 interior design trends that are super hot that you can buy into without breaking the bank i hope you're walking away from today's video feeling like you have such a better grasp on how to decorate your space on a budget but if you want to shop any of the items i talked about today from lowe's just head down to my description box and again lowe's is a place where you can go to shop for the whole home and there's no better time to shop than right now because they're having that labor day sale and the sales are very good you guys if you liked today's video please consider smashing that subscribe button because i have new videos just like this one every monday and friday and i'd love to have you as a member of our community but until next time. Have a beautiful day.